Hey, yo, how's it going, boys? What is up? Sora here for yet another video. For this time, I am gonna cover why are boxing events so important or uh, beneficial for us players. That is, if you uh, spend quite a bit of time into it. So, with the current event, which is Primal Resonance, is one of the prime examples of uh, boxing events in general. It tends to be very new events like whenever there's like a new event scenario or whatnot it'll be usually in the form of a boxing event where you have to go through token draws and then you just empty boxes very similar as guild war but uh, these kind of events are really really good because it also allows you to gain a lot of stuff and what kind of stuff are you're wondering let me show you you can always check the draw, the draw box contents by going through all these stuff. You know, there's like different ones. So, the things that you can actually get from all this is mainly, I would really say, is because of these wonderful crystals here. Because a lot of you has been asking like, why or how do I get my so-called spark funds relatively quickly and stuff. I mean, obviously one way is to rely on side games to give to be very very generous and give a lot of crystals to us but that's just not it the other one is gaining all sorts of crystals that the event provides to you so for example this event boxing events because every 20 first to 20 boxes there will be always crystals included in them in total you probably get like uh, around 1900 around 19 000, 1, 1950 i think yeah 1900 around there ish yeah 2000 whatever <laughs> you get around that much so not only that it's like you'll be wondering but you have to mash a lot of the your ap and all that but it used to be a problem like you can actually go into the the whole ap deficit thing but they changed recently now that they include half elixirs and stuff which technically is already more than enough to get back what he have used so more or less from my experience i've been doing this quite a bit of i've like clearing a lot of like the 20 boxes events already and i can assure you that i have never been a negative pot count ever like most of the time i tend to do this it tends to always be on the positive side or in, at most it just be on like a zero zero count thing so yeah besides that you can get like all these fodders wonderful fodders quartz you know, like extra materials you get like from this treasure thingy. You all get all this material, this marriage thing, which a lot of people seems to have trouble getting at the beginning. So yeah, this this stuff is relatively easy to get by just clearing the boxes. Okay, so you'll be wondering how did you farm tokens efficiently, right? The fastest way, honestly, is to just mash very hard all the way. Because it's the fastest, the least amount of HP. Especially you could probably, uh, you know, use your assault time, press the orange button, get it done, over with, and all that stuff. Or if, if, if you want to conserve more parts, I would say you, you would want to mess some EX as well. Because if you do extreme, there are more, more chances of the, the nightmare mode to appear. Because if the nightmare mode appears, it'll cost 0 AP and you can get... 100 tokens or so from it so if you're lucky yes there's some rng involved in this if you're lucky nightmares will spawn like crazy the more nightmares you do the more pots you save isn't that great so yeah if you really want to do that yes by all means just keep mashing both very hard and extreme and get as much uh nightmare procs as you can get so you can just you know, save as much pots as possible. But if you don't really care about much about pots, or like your pot count or whatever, just match very hard. It's probably like the fastest and easiest because he only has like fucking 5 million HP anyway. So, it's not really that hard. So, okay. Another thing is that you'll be wondering, I'm, I'm still relatively new to the game. I can't really solo all that shit by myself. And I can assure you that clearing all this is relatively easy if you just pub it. Because there are still people trying to enter and stuff. It's a lot slower for you, but at least you can still get something out of it, right? And even if you're still relatively new, 
and you can really uh, get all as many uh, boxes as you want. All in all, if you can just try to mash as many boxes as you can, it's always good, you know? If you can get all 20 boxes, that's fine. If you can get at least the first three boxes, those, those are the really, really important ones because it includes the rings. Yeah, the rings. Just the rings. You really want to get all these, a lot of these. Because uh, it makes your character stronger. Why would you not want that? As you go up to 20 boxes, the 21 boxes and above will not have any more crystals. Okay? So keep that in mind that it has no more crystals after that. If you still want to farm it, go ahead I suppose if you still want like extra merits or whatever. But uh, the really important one is just clearing the 20 boxes. I know it can take a bit of time for some events. But I think in a, most of the time the events like these is relatively easy to get 20 boxes. Because most of the time you just want to win until your assault time, match that like crazy. And then probably you should be able to get like, I don't know, like at least four boxes done in one hour or some shit. Four, four, see, four or five. I think I did five before in one hour before when it's like super easy like this one. So it's not really, it's not really that hard. If you can deal at least like 10 million on the EX there, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, you like I said, you don't really need the, the whole EX or Extreme or... Nightmare to actually get this done. You just need the very hard mode. Very hard mode is the most important one to actually allow you to get uh, more tokens in a much faster pace. All right, so another reason why you want to mash this kind of events a whole lot more is also because the drops that you can get from these two especially. You don't really want to bother with this all that much. You can just clear it. I tend to just clear it once and say screw it. But you don't really need to do that. The ones that you really, really need to do is mostly these two, like I said earlier. But the main reason, the other really good thing you can get out of these two are these wonderful grains down here. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> these grains down here. These Damascus grains. Because if you, if you kill just the very hard, these grains do drop from the red chest in very hard. So, as, as you all know, this Damascus grain can allow you to grab Damascus crystals, get more Damascus bars or ingots, whatever you want to call them. So yeah, you can get a, it, it's you can get them fairly often if you're lucky, I suppose. <laughs> but still, having this in the in the in the pool for this too is already really good. I mean, obviously Damascus uh, grains is just one of those. You can also get your fodders like. Uh, Getting the summon selfies the, to give you more quartz, or you can get the weapon which gives you more weapon stones. So, all in all, there's really no harm in just mashing the, the this this kind of event all together. You just get a whole lot more materials, fodders, all for your progression wise. Like, how how can you say no to that, right? So okay, last final part is that there are times like for example this event as well that adds extra stuff. Like this, this like this whole Akarum mining crap thingy. There's probably some, they don't really tend to do that. I mean, tend to do this kind of, add this kind of stuff very often. But do keep in mind when they do, it's a lot better because even though you, it's very, very tedious to do it. But I just suggest you to skip everything until like the, the last one because the last, the last one you have to play through it like this but honestly it's it's a lot better to just because this this kind of uh akaram setup for events is tends to be very very easy because there isn't really like a a so-called question mark or whatever when it comes to like the the objective purposes so most of the time what you tend to want to do is just to just go for the Go for the objective because most of the time you just go for objective and opening up chances chests is already more than enough for everything and then not to mention after clearing the bosses i mean like the the stage 3 boss itself it gives you some extra loot and honestly doing all this is relatively nice because it also can provide you with uh ssr weapons or even sr weapons or whatever but the important one is ssr weapons because you can use that 
if you have not gotten enough like Magna 1 weapons or whatever or you could just use that as wonderful fodders because you know fodders you will always need them you can't you can't run low on fodders you will always need them because of all these new weapons we have been uh, getting like all these seraph weapons the the dark opus weapons you know all that kind of shit you always need those right so you can't always get go wrong getting more and more of those all right last but not least there's also the trophies you see, there's quite a bit of trophies, and all these trophies do provide you with wonderful crystals. And you always want to complete all of the trophies in every new uh, event, just so you can get extra um, crystals for your spark funds, whatever you want to call it. That's why. <laughs> and I'm pretty damn sure... Yeah, I'm very... <laughs> <laughs> I'm very very sure by the time you do all these boxes you will be done with all the trophies anyway because like if you're doing this because you need to do like up to 50 of the mining thing and you need to do 200 raids right but you see I'm not even I'm not even done with my boxes yet I have already completed all of the trophies already so yeah it, it's it's something like you go along the way kind of thing but yeah and I think that's really about it. I don't really have much else to uh, tell you guys, but I have may missed a little bit of extra stuff. But uh, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I would say event boxes like these for new scenario event scenarios are really, really good. Because it gives you the stuff, the materials that you need for your progression and also your spark funds. Because you want to spark as much as possible, right? Because I don't know. You tend to not rely on RNG to get your good your your the character that you wanted, right? Or some shit like that. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, anyway. I hope that kinda explains most of the stuff. Because I know there's quite a few of you that tends to drop by my stream and always ask me that question. It's like, hey, why why are you mashing this event so much? Why are you doing boxing so much on this kind of events? Isn't Guild War like the only important one? So yeah, hopefully it is uh this video actually uh, explains it very well for you guys. If not, you can always head over to my stream and ask me more questions, I suppose, because I'm always there every day streaming on Twitch and answering your questions. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video or find this helpful. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, yep, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video or on stream. Bye bye